1940 came the smoke jumpers. Now the firefighter has a chance in his race against time to corral the fast-moving fire demon. Started as an experiment a few years ago, the project has sustained a steady growth along with perfected techniques, followed by increasingly satisfactory results. The smoke jumpers are issued equipment in seamless sacks. Each is responsible for his outfit. Let's examine these items. First, the abdominal support. It covers and protects the lower abdomen and provides the necessary support during the opening shock of the parachute. It is made to be worn snugly and low in front. Next comes the coat, padded at elbows and shoulders and made of durable canvas. The high, stiff collar provides protection against snags and limbs in tree landings. The pants are pulled on like an ordinary pair of overalls, and the heavy elastic suspenders are adjusted to the individual. Cut high at the waist, the pants provide plenty of protection to the body in rough landings. Designed for fast removal, the point of release is conveniently located on the center fly strip. Note that plenty of felt padding is stitched at the knees, at the seat, and down along the inside of the pants. These are considered the points of contact in rough landings. The protective webbing is another important safety feature. Giving ample protection at the crotch, the heavy webbing runs from the outside of each ankle and up the inner part of the legs. This webbing can be adjusted by the buckles at the ankles to provide perfect fit to the individual. This demonstration gives an idea of the effectiveness of the strap for jumpers landing astride tree limbs and other obstacles. The large pocket on the right trouser leg carries the let down rope, carefully arranged in a fireman's bird nest coil to prevent snarling in the tree let down. This pocket also carries two 12 foot yellow streamers used for signaling from the ground to the airplane. They are an essential part of the smoke jumpers equipment. Actual tests have shown that yellow can be seen more plainly from the air than any other color. A strong cord is now used when closed the pocket to keep the contents from falling out while the jumper is in the air or landing. This long cord end within easy reach readily unties the slip knot. Next comes the harness. It is a single point release type adapted to smoke jumping. The strong construction and simplicity of design meets the many requirements associated with the smoke jumper's work. Adjustments are necessary to each individual to provide a snug fitting harness, but at the same time give freedom of action for the arms and body. The heavy webbing and hardware of the harness have a high safety factor and are designed to distribute the opening shock over the jumper's body and provide a comfortable swing. We are now ready to attach the main backpack parachute. This adjustable belly band is passed under the harness member like this and buckled tightly in front. The end of the strap is turned back through the buckle for fast removal. As previously pointed out, the emergency chest pack is first fastened to the lower snaps. These support the weight of the pack only. The risers or lift webs of the emergency chute are attached to the larger snaps above. On top of the emergency chute is a knife, easily accessible to either hand should it be needed to cut entangled parachute lines. For the protection of head and face, a regulation football helmet is used with a mask attached. The mask covering the face is of welded steel mesh hinged at the top. Two leather straps fasten into buckles on either side. 
holding the mask tightly and securely over the jumper's face. A sponge rubber pad attached to the inside of the mask fits over the chin. This assures plenty of protection against head or face injury due to rough landing. Soft, close-fitting gloves are worn by the jumper to prevent hand burns caused by lines slipping through the hands while maneuvering the parachute. Also, good foot protection is needed while jumping and working on fires. These are logger-type boots with composition soles. Caulked soles are likely to cause ankle injuries on landing and are never worn. And so ends the dressing up and we have a smart looking outfit. Every item is inspected before the man jumps. Special attention is given to the ripcord assembly on the emergency chute and the backpack cover lacings and harness fitting. Yet all this can be accomplished with care and accuracy in a few seconds. 